Hi, Condello here. Uh, I'm an Australian bass player and some of you may know me from my work with the Hindley Street Country Club amongst other things. And I'm here to talk to you today about my rig that wonderful people at Laney have been so kind to give me. I now endorse this stuff wholeheartedly. I can't say enough good things about it. And this is my studio setup and also part of my live setup. I use the Nexus SL series amp with all the built-in effects, which are fantastic, clean, and very, very responsive. Here I've got a 410 box and a 2 2x10 box. On my live recordings and live performances, I use uh, another one of these. So I've got a quad box and also two 2x10s, two so effectively eight 10s. On today's tracks, so what I'm basically doing is I'm just showing you the versatility of the rig. So I've brought in a bunch of my different basses to use to give you an outline of the kind of sounds that I use. And again, to just to illustrate the versatility of, of the rig. I've played some three or four little, little grabs of music with you, for you with a couple of my dear, dear friends, Dave Ross and Monty Ruggiero. And we just played basic grooves that you'd hear in a studio or that you do live. I didn't get into a million notes stuff and getting all fancy and doing all the circus tricks because I, ideally, as a session player, no one ever calls you to come in there and go blah, 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 blah. It just doesn't happen like that. You end up finding most of the time you're just playing just straight ahead grooves and people want to hear your feel, want to hear your note choice. And as any other seasoned studio player will tell you, it's, it's really quite simple and you're playing the song, not the instrument. So I've tried to give you three or four different uh, varieties of some things that we did, which you hear at the end of this video. Again, just to show you that, uh, as most bass players would agree, certain basses sound completely different through different rigs. Whereas I found with this particular rig, I mean, I'm playing this Yamaha 1984 BB5000 and it's passive. This is my main go-to bass. But I've also done a video with uh, a wonderful Sadowski that I own here, a uh, 72P bass and a 77 Music Man as well. Just to give you an indication of the different sounds that those basses inherently have and how good they sound through this rig. Um, it's got, I pretty much set it flat and I don't use any of the, the pre-shapes, but there's some wonderful things you'll hear on the tracks We're just with the use of the foot switch with an octava. It's got a built-in octava and a built-in chorus and a reverb, which are just very subtle, and the octava doesn't, doesn't uh, basically phase out after a bar or so. It's, it's very responsive and very, very easy to use. Um, I would encourage a lot of the, not just the young guys, but a lot of seasoned professionals that are used to playing their older rigs be they your SWRs and your GKs and your Ampegs and all those kinds of things, to have a serious look at this because it's one of the few rigs that you can easily bring into a studio but also does the job live. And in terms of the weight, they're Lavoccia Italian speakers and they are so light. And as you get older, a lot of you bass players will agree with me, the last thing you want to do is lug and heavy gear around. So again, the, the rig in, in principle just ticks every box, weight, sound, Probably the most important thing I have to say about this, it is super, super responsive. You play a note, that's the note that you hit. Bit like driving a Ferrari, it hits the corner, you drive a muscle forward and it's great in the straight line but it has no finesse. This thing has just got a beautiful balance of the two. If I was to equate a sound for how I have my stuff, it's got a very hi-fi sound, very clean, dynamic sound, but you can very, very easily bring out the P-Bass with a pick and just rock out. So, if you've got any daily, daily, daily has that, daily. If you have any Laney dealers in your area, do go and check them out, because I don't uh, endorse things very easily, and this thing I could not be happier with. So, I hope you enjoy these little grooves we've got for you at the end. Uh, I'm talking off the cuff here, none of this is rehearsed, or none of it's written down any kind of speech, so I hope you understand that it's just me being uh, as open and as uh, transparent as I can with this gear, and I encourage you all to actually try it out and have a listen to it. With the grooves that you're gonna hear, they're just basic general grooves that I've done with my guys. They give you an indication of, the, of its ability to cover so many different genres and different sounds. So having said that, feel free to give the page a like and get onto Laney and have a look at some of their other products as well. And um, if you've got any questions, hit the link below, hit the comments below, and I'm happy to answer wherever I can. With that, stay safe and enjoy what's left of 2020.
Thank you.